I'm very happy that we are in workshop number 15, guys, because we are going to practice a lot in this workshop. This is one of the most complete workshops because we will be inputting data such as bulk properties, the typical assay data or curve, the TVP curve, and we're going to add density data, viscosity data, as well as the lightens. So here it is, lightens, viscosity curves, not only one curve, but two curves, the molecular weight curve, the density curve, so this is interesting that this is an API density. Anyways, let's start modeling this. Let's go back. We are going to include propane, isobutane, endotane, isopentane, and, well, this is n-pentane. Okay, go here. Propane up to n-pentane and water. Ensure that you have all the components. Now let's choose the fluid package as we have been doing before, Peng Robinson. And now choose the oil manager. Input data. We need a new bulk properties. Add the TVP. Add the light ends. We need to input the composition, of course. This will be dependent, dependent, and independent. I just want to ensure that. Independent versus viscosity, yes. Independent versus density, so that's also this is independent data. And molecular weight is dependent. Okay, perfect. Now we have stated all the curves and properties. Now it's time to input each specific value. So molar weight is 300. Standard density API right here and we are going to use the Lagrange for distillation so just ensure that we're going to use that there's no more data given here so light ends let's continue with the light ends we got everything here ensure that this is volume per volume yes perfect now continue with the distillation curve Ensure that this is liquid volume or volume per volume and let's go here We need a total of 11 cells. So let's go here edit assay and add 10 more paste the temperature Copy Here and click OK now molecular weight Is given right here copy the molecular weight and paste it. The density, well, this is an interesting one because we must state it as API. So before actually going, well, let me include it. So we need five points, add four. And the problem here, guys, is that we have kilogram per cubic meter because we have SI units. So let's go here and click in the simulation. Go home and we are going to have a new unit set we're going to change the mass density mass density as api so we click ok this will be new user so when we go back and add the density is in api units so let's do it now we add the api units So just in case you want to ensure that these are API units, if you choose a 500 point, it will tell you that this is out of order. So once again, click. This must be 54. Click OK. We have now our density. And click now in viscosity right here. Let's go. And from here, we need dynamic 100 Fahrenheit. A total of five points so let me copy that this is curve number one. now we must use both curves because of the curve number one it must be dynamic because we're going to use centipois we need a total of five points so let's copy and paste centipois okay now let's go to viscosity number two do the same
and wait, copy the last values. Okay, so what's the difference between viscosity number one and viscosity number two? Well, essentially is that the viscosity number one is taken at 37 Celsius or 100 Fahrenheit and viscosity number two is taken at 210 Fahrenheit or something similar to 100 Celsius. And we need to use both curves. We can use, of course, one, but if we have both, we must use both curves. Now, this is going to model much better because viscosity will be interrelated. Now, let's review. We have bulk properties, which was the molar or molecular weight and the standard density. We got light ends, essentially just propane up to pentane. The distillation curve is added, the molecular weight is given, the density in API units is also given, and the viscosities. So we can now click here and calculate the assay. We can go to the output blend, add a blend here, and check out the table. So as you can see, it is now fully characterized. We could include a TBP diagram how it's going to be distilled and as you can see there's plenty of residual material there's plenty of naphtha and some kerosene as well so this way we finish workshop number 15 as you can see we used most of the input data we added bulk properties we added the tbp curve we added light ends we added curves of molecular weight density and viscosity